ordered some roller skates um, from Urban Outfitters and they finally came in. Um, they're in a peach color. Um, my favorite color is green, but they didn't have any green ones. So I chose these, but um, I don't know how to roller skate at all, but I'm gonna learn. Um, I don't go outside at all actually and um, I don't know I kind of feel like I need an outdoor activity to do but yeah you guys will probably see me trying to learn how to use these this week Okay, so I have been working on some my ceramic homework and we had to make a pinch bowl and a pinch cup. I'm not finished with them, but they are due tomorrow and they're, the, the basic structure is done. I'm just gonna keep fussing with them and kind of get them exactly how I want. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys what was going down with my online art school homework. So uh, yesterday I got a cartilage piercing and a day's piercing. Um, I didn't film it because, I don't know, I just personally feel weird when filming like workers doing their job. And that's just me, that's not to say that if you like to film them that's whatever, but I felt weird like being like, oh can I film this, But because I didn't know him personally. But yeah, I got them pierced. He did a really great job. Aaron at Biolab, if you guys live in Houston, that's where I went. But yeah, very happy. Uh, if you guys are wondering, like the pain level, the car I have a very high pain tolerance. Like all of my lobe piercings, I did not feel at all. 
So, uh, yeah, I have a very high pain tolerance. Uh, the cartilage piercing felt was like a 1 out of 10 or a 2 out of 10 for me. The day th um, did hurt a little bit more, but it was maybe like a 4 out of 10, 3 or 4, but it wasn't that bad. It was just a little bit of discomfort when he put in the jewelry. But, um, yeah, I started off with these, and then I'll do more on the other ear. I just didn't want to do both so that I could sleep on my side. Yesterday, I just spent the whole day out with my man, and... I did that, but yeah, there's a little update for my life. So I'm making a few GIFs for Instagram. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some of my favorites. I really like this one, and I also really like this one. But yeah, I'm working on some. I need to make 10, apparently, to be able to get verified and upload them to Instagram. So yeah, I just have three more left to do. And I also just finished up a redraw of this i don't think i have the yeah no let me get the reference photo so if you guys remember this piece i've already redrawn this piece this is the second time that i've redrawn it so this was a redraw from the original but um yeah i redid it and this is what it looks like now i really love the way that my style is developing these days but yeah i just wanted to show you guys a little redraw that i did So this is what the site is looking like now. Big difference to before. Um, yeah, some sneak peeks of what products are coming, but um, yeah, I'm excited. I finally got around to editing it how I would want it. It's a lot more simple and stuff. But yeah, this means that I can finally start working on a shop update. So I wanted to show you guys the jacket that I got because I got some comments saying that you guys wanted me to include like shopping and stuff and clothing things but just by the way this sweater is from ASOS but this jacket just came in it's from Pretty Little Thing I don't normally buy from Pretty Little Thing like ever but I was looking for a very specific jacket and this was the only place that had it um, that was fake leather and something that was under like a hundred dollars because I don't want to pay a hundred dollars 
Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. The sleeves could be a little bit longer for me, but that typically always happens because I have long arms. But yeah, very nice fall leather jacket. Thank you.